It's so much better than it ever has been because of these products. What's something that works? Try this. It could change your life like it changed mine. I feel like as a vet uh, in the vet office, you see some really crazy things because you see different animals and they do really extensive cases like right there in the, you know, yeah. in their office. Make sure I'm never hurting you, okay? Okay. I'm taking out, there's like a little punctum, a little opening, you know, where the cyst is. So okay. I remove that because it increases the chance that it doesn't come back, you know, okay. that little opening. Because any, if the sac is left in there at all, there's a chance that it will grow back. Mm -hmm. So we want to, the sac wall, you know, of the, of the cyst. Not hurting you, right? No. Okay, good. Here's that little punctum, that little baby punctum there. So, are you probably looking forward to some backless dresses and stuff? Mm hmm And Since shirts. It's getting hotter now. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm gonna get a little squeeze. I'm just gonna squeeze it, but make sure I'm not hurting you. Okay. Just block ourselves in case we get squirted with anything. That's some of the cyst contents, oh. see? It's like skin, essentially. Skin that's shedding in there. I'm gonna put a little more numbing there now that we've evacuated some of it. I don't like to put a lot underneath beforehand because I'll just inflame the cyst, you know? Oh, okay. you, you see cysts in animals too, so. Mm -hmm. If I put it in after, then it's less likely that, that I will blow it up and then it explodes on me. It's never fun. Make sure I'm not hurting you, like I said. Oh. Now we're just trying to get that sack out. Okay, right there. Looks nice, actually. I think we're gonna get it out nicely. You okay, right? Mm -hmm. okay. See? Oh, wow. It's like a little grape almost. That's a little sack. We'll examine it in a little bit. We got it all out, which is great. Let me just double check. Mm -hmm. I use this little instrument, like a, it's, called, it's like a little spoon, that's mm -hmm. a turret, just to kind of scratch at the inside to see whether any of it was left. Not hurting you, right? Mm -hmm. It looked like I got it all whole. When I get it out, hole like that that's always good because that that's means <laughs> well also that it means i got it a hole because yeah. if any little piece of the sack remains it would mean that it could grow back so uh -huh. all right good let's put a stitch in there and you're out she's out of here great that's a great way to end the day guys <laughs> I feel like we've stayed later, guys, but we're not really, right? We're okay. It's not even 4.30 yet. What time was her surgery at? Um, hour ago. Oh, stop it. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Who asked? Oh, goodness sakes. Maybe she lives a couple minutes away. Dad, I get my sleep. has a long trip as those guys that we just saw. They have a long trip back. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Okay. So you're gonna come back in 10 days to take okay. out these stitches, okay? All right. Just two.
inside your swatch or around my bag right now, but not. Yeah, really. you probably can't reach it really yeah. easily, so you just need to, you know, mm -hmm. just let the water run down the area. You don't have to scrub it and just put a little, if you want to put a band aid on it, a little antibiotic ointment if you can reach the area. But I think it should be just fine. Pushing against you have that little black right there, but it's stuck in there. Okay, let me show the camera here what we did here. So here's her little um, the sack. Well, we know we got it all because I can see it's intact right there. And there's the opening. See how it's like this little casing that it was in? So yeah. that was the top we, we took off from this top. Oh, yeah. So that's what we squeezed out. And this is the contents. It's just macerated keratin, meaning wet skin cells cut into there. That's it. All done. Two little...